So with this, I have a, uh, I have a few phonemes. Basically, most of the time I'll do oo, uh, ah, and e in a closed mouth shape. And you can set those up uh, for side things. But with this technique, you really don't, you don't need to do all this. For open tunes, it's great to have it so you can do stuff quicker. I almost dropped uh, an S bomb, but um, you don't need, you don't need to. Like you don't need to go through and set up all the shapes to the left and all the shapes to the right because at any time you can go in and change your expression to suit your animation. But yeah, so basically I set up those um, a closed mouth, a, e, u, and then I I do a few tweens between those, a to make sure that my uh, my drawings can auto in between easily, and then um, also so it gives me a little bit more variety when I'm going through and doing lip sync. Okay, so then this is going to be, this is your level for that character, period. You don't touch that. You don't animate on it. You don't do in-betweens on it. What you do is you duplicate it for uh, whatever project you happen to be in, okay? And then that's it. You don't need you don't need this anymore. It's gone. It's done, okay? From there, you would do your lip syncing. Your lip syncing. So, you do something really quick, I guess. Let's... Okay. Now you want to be able to auto in between between these things, but you can't because they're not lined up, synced up in the level strip. But what you do is a you figure out your last frame is 55. Okay. You basically make a new level. I'm, we're merging levels. Basically, is what we're doing. Everyone knows to do it, but they don't actually do it. Right? It's 55 steps. Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> and then you're going to go through for each one of these hits that would line up with your audio, you're going to add a new drawing. Okay, this now goes on the back side, select both these, and from the X sheet drop down menu, you go to merge levels. And that should pretty much do, that should pretty much do it to it, right? You now have all of your mouth shapes, your phonemes, now synced up. Each one is an individual drawing. So if you want to, for instance, this one, okay, you want to, I don't know, you want to make it a little bit more extreme, right? You can just do that. And it won't affect any other uh, version of um, this particular wide mouth shape. Right, and uh, then you just go through and you punch in a bunch of drawings um, to kind of work your timing. Now, what I'd like to be able to have. For sure, it's just the ability to select two keyframes in this, I guess, in between between frames that I've already made, or I don't, yeah, I don't know. You should have something that tweens 
without an issue. Something that auto in betweens without an issue. And additionally, you can go through too if you want to, and uh, add keyframes that scale this in and out. But um, essentially, if you are going through like you're saying you're doing and adding in all these different expressions, happy, sad, whatever, <coughs> then it should be as easy as those two steps, right? Uh, merging onto this and then going through and auto-in-betweening um, for each of your drawings. <laughs>